What's going on, you guys? This is all day one on the PS4, and I'm going to be giving you guys another Ghost Recon Breakpoint video. So, with this video, I'm going to be giving you is going to be on how to level up or increase your gear score the most efficient way. So, yes, it is going to require some time to reach a high amount of gear score, at least 200 plus, because it goes up pretty slow after that. But for the most part, you'll be able to reach 150 gear score within a couple days pretty easily just doing it with this method so as you can see gear score is going to be this big number right here and the gear score is dependent on whatever gear you're wearing so what you want to do is you want to make sure you're always wearing the highest gear in your in your inventory so whether it's green items white items blue purple yellow it doesn't matter make sure you're wearing it because in the end the stats I mean the stats do matter for like you know if you're playing on harder difficulties if you're playing more towards like end game content which i would say would be like the raid but right now stats don't necessarily matter at all um too much it does help a lot but i wouldn't really worry about it and that's the only difference between your gear is the stats so as you can see the health regen on my chest piece is two percent but the health regen on my gloves is eight percent and that's because the the rarity items are different so the blue is going to be lower even the purple will be lower um i don't have anything else with yeah but anyways the health the purple would be at six percent while the gold is at eight percent and they do stack on top of each other same thing with the weapons um the s bonuses it's not the base stats that increase higher but it's the bonuses so for on a purple weapon damage to drones six percent would be its max but 12 percent on the purple on uh, yellow would be its max but anyways the way gear score works is it pretty much takes everything you have and it puts it all in one so so you know everything every piece of gear and every weapon is what your total gear score would be and the way this will work is the loot you find and the loot you can purchase is going to be based off of whatever your gear score is so if i go around picking up chests the chest will be around 224, 225, 226, and even sometimes it can be 227, depending, like, if it, normally if it's a yellow, if it's an elite item, it'll be 227, no, uh, 9 times out of 10, or it'll be 1 to 2 high, um, levels higher than me. It'll always be an increase. You can also go to a shop, so you can go to your bivouac, or you can go to um, Maria, I think that's her name, Maria. Uh, at the at Camp Erwin. So if you go here, you'll be able to purchase items as I well. As you can see, you it's giving me and a plus a one increase. At a lower level, they'll normally give you like a plus three to plus five, and those would be the ones I would highly recommend getting if it has a plus three or plus five. Like I said, though, at a 200 and higher gear score, even maybe like 180, it'll start going up by plus ones, and the plus ones will be an increase it, it'll be a helpful increase for you so you definitely want to make sure you buy them buy these and then you can increase your gear score another way also is your weapons on demand these are going to be your blueprints that you end up finding around the world or you know if you did if you don't feel like really playing the game too much you just buy the blueprints outright with credit or your ghost credits you can you can do that too and you'll be able to increase your gear score that way as well and there will be items that have like 225 out of 225, like you see here. These are your signature weapons. If they have two stats that are the same. If they don't, like for example, this HTI has one that's 225 and 227. Those are the two ranges that this weapon can chop from, um, that it can be crafted from. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and craft an SMG. I'm going to craft the Vector and see. Well, that's awesome. I got a 226 Vector that's um, got range and damage the drones which is awesome so this is going to be an increase to my stats now will it increase to my gear score maybe not but the fact is it does help me out a lot um i'm going to also go ahead and craft myself the zastava because this is a signature weapon so it gives me a base increase of 225 so after you get these items just go ahead and go back to your inventory and then uh, re-put them on so I'm going to go ahead and put that on, and I'm going to put 
So as you can see, my gear score increased to 226 instead of 225 now. So it is definitely something I would highly recommend getting or doing because, you know, it's going to make it easier for you to push your gear score. Now, what I would That's recommend is don't always go out and buying new items because credits can be kind of a pain to get. But, you know, you can always come back after like an hour because the, the stocks reset after an hour. So here, actually, let me show you real quick. The timer, it's going to be right over here. It's different for everyone as well. It's not the same for everyone. So the stocks are going to reset for me in 57 minutes. So it's just new content or whatever. And every hour is new inventory. So you can go out farming the boxes and whatnot. Just go around looting boxes around the world. Because boxes do respawn as well. They, they respawn, I don't know if it's over time or every time you log in. But you can basically just go in and collect the box, the loot crates. The ones that do not, that are not like specialty crates, like the blue ones, the blue ones being the ones that give you blueprints or perk points, those are, don't respawn. But everything else, like the one for this AK-12, is going to respawn for me. Or um, not this, because this is a, I think this is considered specials, um, a special one. This G-28 would respawn for me. Um, obviously, that's hidden. The ones from... The behemoth areas will not respawn, though. Oh, this is not a behemoth. That's an outpost. Outposts will respawn. I can't find a behemoth. So right here. Nope, this is Amon. Where is the behemoth? That's Murmur Patrol. I, why? All right, so behemoth defense area right here. So like this, this is not going to respawn any of those because those are blueprints. Um, but anywhere else, or blueprints and a skill point, you're not going to be able to get those consistently over time. But everywhere else, you can just go and farm those chests, and um, yeah, it'll it'll just make it a lot easier for you to get geared up that way. And then once you farm the chest for a few hours, or you you know you played the game for an hour or two, just come back after you've ranked up like maybe ten times, like ten gear score levels or so. Just come to the shop and then purchase some items just to push you if you feel like you're getting stuck. But that's pretty much it with this video. I know it's pretty short. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. Um, obviously, it's like something that a lot of people might already know. Some of you guys might not. And yeah, this it did take me a while to get to 226, though. It takes it, It's not an easy or quick process. You're not going to reach it in a quick amount of time. But you will be able to reach to 150 within a couple days. But yeah, that's pretty much it with this video. Hopefully this helped you out. If it did, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know down in the comment section. And I'll try my best to help you guys out to the best of my ability. This is all day to day one on the PS4. Have a good day. Good night. And peace.